Drone Tech introduces the Sniper One Close Ground Support Package, or CGS. The system features the latest thermal imaging camera from FLIR, TAU2, as well as a standard Sony 720 TV line camera and a switchable high-powered LED spotlight from Sniper Torches. An attitude compensating gyroscopic gimbal is used to ensure stability. In this sequence, the drone is at an altitude of 42 meters and is using the standard camera to demonstrate what can be seen in the visible spectrum. Switching to thermal imagery shows the enhanced visibility the system offers. Here, a vehicle with two occupants is observed at an altitude of 54 meters in a 15 kilometer an hour wind. Using the camera's gray spectrum, where white indicates a hot body, a subject can easily be tracked as he moves across a field. Notice the lamppost in the center of this image. When we compare the scene in the visible spectrum, it is obvious how well the thermal imagery is able to remove the interference that the bright light creates. The subject is rendered invisible by the blinding lights. However, thermal imaging easily penetrates this hazard. The CGS package includes a switchable spotlight. This is chiefly used to illuminate the subject for the benefit of ground forces, and this then allows them to be guided to where the drone operator is focused on a specific subject. The close ground support system is intended to be used in virtually any weather conditions, and even strong winds where the operator is able to inform ground forces of a changing situation from his aerial vantage point. The video recorded in this demonstration was done so after it was transmitted to the ground in order to give a true representation of what an operator will actually see. This sequence shows a completely dark environment where a children's swing and a playground are visible. The drone remains stationary but pans clockwise. The velocity is 0.1 meter per second and is shown at the top of the screen. At this point, we return to the standard camera in order to demonstrate how poorly illuminated this area actually is. Thermal imaging then reveals a ploughed field flanked by rows of trees. When we move a little closer to the subject, the spotlight does become more effective in certain situations. However, thermal reveals a motorcycle and a vehicle that wouldn't have easily been noticed when only using the spotlight. In order to further enhance the CGS package, isothermic colors can be added to highlight warmer bodies, making detection even easier in certain circumstances. This is particularly effective in rural environments where evenly low temperatures cause warm bodies to contrast well against an otherwise natural dark background. Here, the isothermic temperature scale has been set so that any subject above 26 degrees centigrade is illuminated yellow through red. As the subject moves, his surface temperature or body temperature increases and so increases his thermal footprint, making him much more obvious against the black background. This setting is particularly useful in detecting vehicles that may be running at the moment or have been used recently, especially when comparing these vehicles against other vehicles that have been parked for a while and whose temperatures are that of the ambient surroundings. We would like to thank you very much for watching this short presentation on DroneTech's Close Ground Support Package.